In this video, we are going to discuss about the condensation process. We are going to see about the real life examples of the condensation process. So hello engineers, welcome in Learn CHE. So let's see the some real life examples of the condensation process. Before we see the real life examples of the condensation, first let's understand that what is the meaning of condensation. So in the simple word, if I say what is condensation, so condensation is the process of water vapor turning back into the liquid water means there are there are some water vapors that is converting into the liquid water it's called the condensation means it is the reverse process of the evaporation or in the case of boiling water where we increase the temperature of the water in that case what happens that if you increase the temperature of the water and we know that water boils at 100 degrees celsius right as we increase the temperatures what happens that the liquid water converts into the gaseous phase got it my point but in the case of condensation if we reverse this process means we are in the case of the boiling we were increasing the temperature but in the case of condensation we are decreasing the temperature let's see the refrigeration okay in the refrigerator what we do we reduce the temperature got it my point so what will happen that that water vapor will come or turn into the liquid water okay that's why there is a one term comes that is a dew point okay so what are the real life examples of the condensation if we see the real life examples of the condensation which you have also seen that uh, real life examples in your daily life i don't know whether you know that this is the condensation process or this is the something else okay here you can see this is my water bottle if suppose that water bottle in the refrigerator and if i comes out that water bottle so what will happen that the temperature of that water bottle is something around 10 or 20 okay let's suppose 10 and 20 and if let's see the temperature of the surrounding is approx 30 and 40 okay in the summer time it will be 40 around okay and we know that in the air there are some amount of water vapor present and that's called humidity okay that's why the humidity comes into the picture so what will happen that this is my cold surface and around this cold surface there will be the water vapors that is present in the air okay so what will happen that due to delta t due to large delta t that water vapor will condense that water vapor will turn into the liquid water okay that's called the condensation so what will happen that that water vapor will turn down into the liquid water at this surface and that is called the condensation process i hope you got this point now let's see the real life examples of the condensation so here are the some real life examples of the condensation and that is the first is clouds in the sky we see the clouds in the sky that is the one of the example of the condensation the second is morning dew you will see that when we walk when we go in the morning walk so we see that in the grass there is a some water droplets are present okay that uh, that is the example of the condensation foggy car window that we have also seen that in our window that we can see in in our example here you can see that is the example of the foggy car window and the concept behind is condensation fog in the air that we all know and the cold water bottle you can see here this one is my cold water bottle and the concept behind is why there is a water droplet because of the condensation got it my point so i hope you understood little bit about the condensation what exactly the condensation is what are the real life examples of the condensation let me in the comments box more examples or more real life examples of the condensation so that we could discuss the science behind it in the comments box so thank you for watching see you soon till then keep learning